everybody, um, it's Dara from TechShed. Um, this week we're going to be doing um, two kind of social social uh, networking kind of apps or chat client type things. Um, our first one is Adium, which is our first one is Adium here, which is right open right here, and this is a chat client for the Mac. Uh, you can download it uh, for free off adium.im. Um, it's free. Uh, it's only for Mac, but uh, they do. I think it's the same company. Um, if you heard of a chat client called Pigeon, you can download that from pigeon.im, and that's uh, for Windows. And I think that's like the equivalent for Windows. But anyways, this um, there's a few things that I like about this app. Um, the first thing is the uh, easeability of um, importing contacts from your various accounts. As you can see here I've got um, some Gmail buddies and Facebook buddies and um, I do have an MSN set up with it but uh, no one's online. Um, and uh, I have blurred out the names for uh, obvious reasons. Um, but anyways, uh, you if you wanted to add something you just go to preferences, accounts, you add, and here's the list of all the uh, different type of accounts you have. Some very uh, obscure ones that I've never heard of. Um, but anyways, that's um, that's a very nice feature. Very cool. Uh, while we're in the preference pane, preference panel, uh, we'll just look at some other features that you can do here. These are, you know, I don't know. You could go through these yourself because that's a free app. Um, you can change your all your info, personal info. You can change the appearance. This is another nice thing. Um, it's very you can customize it really easily. Like you can download themes for it and change it up and stuff like that. Here's what a normal messages look like. Um, change your status, add a custom status and stuff like that. Uh, change the events. Um, like so, if you get a message, you can change what sound it is and stuff like that. Um, those are all the preferences. Um, so yeah, right here, if you, um, if you just hover over someone's name, it kind of shows up, or if you, um, I'll show you their picture and stuff like that, and if I wanted to chat to someone, you just double click the name, you can do all these things, um, you know, just your standard stuff. Um, one cool thing about this is you can set auto replies, so for when you're away, or when you're just, uh, be right back, you can set an auto reply saying, oh, I'll be back in a minute, um, stuff like that and it's really easy to change your status as well uh, you just click on this little thing up here and change it you can also uh, do it to what iTunes music you're listening to which is also very nice and um, so that is Adium uh, onto our next app which is called TweetDeck uh, this is also a free app um, I'm pretty sure you can download it from just like TweetDeck.com um, but anyways as you can guess it's a Twitter client you may have heard of it um, and this is what it looks like here. Um, so basically, um, here you can add, the cool thing about this is you can add your own little panels here. So, like, um, you can just add for, you can add a few accounts in here. Um, of course, we don't have any mentions or any anything else there. Um, but anyways, you can add these little preference, uh, these little panel type things, and there's all these great features. I mean, there's a ton of features in, in this bottom area here. And then up at the top here, you can choose, um, well, you just click on this button to make a tweet. You can write whatever. And you can choose which account you want to post it to. Uh, you just click that button. You can also, another cool thing is you can just shorten a URL right here. Um, and then that'll put them in. Or I think if you do, um, what do we do? I'll do check out our new store. Um, store. Um, I thought it did that, but anyways, you can just do it like that. Press enter, and it'll put it in right there. Um, no. It's six o'clock. I hope I didn't post that. I'm just going to check this now, see if it worked. Okay. Um, did, unfortunately. Um, but that's not a, that's not a big deal. Oh, I hope I didn't post that to my Facebook. Okay, 
that's fine. Um, but anyways, yeah. So you can choose a you can choose which thing is which uh, account you want to post it to here, which is uh, very cool. Then you got you know your refresh, all these different things. You know, we'll just do single column view. So like if you you could have it over to the side here, and then have um, your whatever here. And then all that stuff, all the rest of your um, your uh, things that you're browsing or whatever. Um, so, anyways, that's a uh, tweet deck and idiom um, for app of the week. I am Dara of TechShit. Thank you for watching this. Uh, new episodes every Sunday and um, Wednesday. Um, just to notify about our website, or still, we're just, yeah, nothing really that new about it. And uh, we've been working on it, but I mean, there's nothing that you would really notice. Um, as usual, check our blog for the latest updates, and um, that's what, that is where we put them first. Um, but for now, um, updates on uh, this week, uh, we're thinking about doing a two-part netbook special on uh, two netbooks, which we have at the moment. Uh, so look forward to that on Sunday, um, and uh, leave a comment below telling us what you think. Uh, check out the website, techshit.com forward slash blog for the latest updates. Um, and yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching this episode. Uh, oh yeah, how do you like the new uh, graphics that you see here and the little cube spinning? Uh, leave a comment below on that as well. Uh, but anyways, thanks for tuning in this week, and I will see you guys later. Um, yeah, that's that's it, isn't it? Um, yeah. Oh, uh, just some uh, more URL things. If you want to easily access our YouTube, Twitter, store, um, YouTube is youtube.techshit.com, Twitter is twitter.com techshit.com, uh, store is store.techshit.com, our blip is blip.techshit.com, and if you're on a mobile device, uh, if you just go to techshit.com, it'll automatically redirect you to the mobile site, which is kindly provided by mobify.me. Um, I think that's the website, mobify.me. Um, but anyways, that's a great service, but we need to work on that mobile website. Um, but for now, just go to the desktop version. There's a button at the bottom of the page which says "Go to desktop version." So if you're on um, you're on your mobile device, uh, it's best to uh, do the desktop version for now. But soon we will have a fully functioning mobile website. So, anyways, thanks for watching this week. Uh, I will see you guys later. Bye.